Okay, we have another elapsed time um, activity. So this looks a little bit different than the first lesson I did with you guys. Um, I'm gonna give you a start and an end, and then you're gonna have to find the elapsed time or how much time has passed, okay? And I included a couple of number lines so that we can practice, and then I'll use my clock. So I start my first one. I start at 10 o'clock a.m. and it ends at 11.30 a.m. So how much time has gone by? How many hours, how many minutes? Well, if I go down here, I'm gonna start at 10 o'clock. So I know, I'm gonna put my little dot there. And I know I'm gonna end at 11.30. 11.30. So I'm gonna go right there. So now I've got to figure out how much time has passed. Well, I know from 10 o'clock to an 11 o'clock, well, that's one hour. Not enough to be two hours, because that would be 12 o'clock. So one hour. So I'm gonna write one hour up there. And then I gotta go from 11 o'clock to 11.30. So I know that's 15, and I did it in quarters also this time, 15.30. So that's gonna be 30 minutes. From 11 to 11.30 is 30 minutes. So one hour, 30 minutes. Garage, go through the garage. Okay, next, so I started off with the easy one. Next, made it a little harder because I didn't include just the quarters. I started at 5.45 p.m. and I'm gonna end at 7.20 p.m., okay? So 5.45 p.m. up here. So it's 5, 5.15, 5.30, 5.45. And now I'm gonna go to 7.20. Okay, I'm going to count my hours first. I know from 5.45 to 6.45 is one hour. If I go to 7.45 for two hours, that's too late because 7.45 would come after 7.20. So I know it's not two hours. I know it's only one hour. So up here, I'm going to write one hour. So now I have to figure out how many minutes from 6.45 to 7.20. Now again, this is 15 and 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a um, addition problem. I know that to get to seven o'clock, I need 15 minutes. And once I get to seven o'clock, I need 20 extra minutes to get to 7.20. So 15 minutes gets me to seven o'clock, 20 minutes gets me to 7.20, I'm gonna add them up together, I get 35. So from 5.45 to 7.20, it takes one hour and 35 minutes. Okay. Now the next one I made a little bit harder because I start at 11.50 a.m. I go to 1.23 p.m. So down here, I know that this is counting by 15 minutes in my quarters. 11.50 comes after 11.45. So to get at 50, I need to add 10 minutes to get to 12 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and write off to the side. I know I need 10 minutes to get to, 11, uh, get, to get to from 11.50 to 12 o'clock. So 11.50 will be a little, about right there, after 11.45. So if I go from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, I know that's one hour. And once I get to one o'clock, I have to go to 1.23. So how many minutes from one o'clock to 1.23? Well, 23 minutes. So I'm going to add that 23 minutes to that 10 minutes. So to recap, 11.50. To get to that next hour, 12 o'clock, 50 plus 10 is 60. There's 60 minutes in one hour. And when I look at my clock, at that 50, I know it takes 10 minutes to get to the next hour. So I just... Write my 10 minutes over here, 
because 11.50 plus 10 minutes gets me to 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock to one o'clock is one hour. I'm gonna write that up here, one hour, I'll put HR for short. And then, so I have that 10 minutes. Now to get from one o'clock to 123, I have to add 23 minutes. So now I just add that. 33. So 1150, if it ends at 123 p.m., how much time has gone by? One hour, 33 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to use my clock to show you. I want to do 1150 to 123 to prove to you that it really is one hour, 33 minutes. Okay, so at 1150. Okay, so watch, at 11 o'clock, it's exactly, remember the hour hand exactly on 11? But as the minute hand moves around the hour, the red hand, the hour hand gets closer to the next hour. So at 11.50, it's almost at 12 o'clock, but it's not 12 o'clock yet. So I wanna end at 1.23, okay? There's my 10 minutes. That's one hour, 11.50 to 12.50 is one hour. One hour, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's one hour, 30 minutes, and I have to get to 23. 31, 32, 33. One hour, 33 minutes, and I'm at 1.23. And that's what we said, one hour, 33 minutes to end at 1.23. So, my strategy for doing elapsed time, try to get to the, add the minutes, get to the next hour. And then you can add up from there. Add the hours and then any extra minutes before, say this hour or after, add up your minutes right here. What happens if you're just going to try to add up, let's say, well, I'll show you that in a different video. I don't wanna confuse you. Okay, and remember, 60 minutes make one hour. So if you're adding up minutes and you get to 60 or more, you've made an hour. So once you, if you again, if you get to 60, that's that's an hour. And then you got to start all over with the minutes, okay? Because there's no such thing as 60 o'clock or 11.60. <laughs> all right.